Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruel free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today is no difference and <laughs> today it's a first impression. And I'm going to do a first impression with the Colourpop Star Wars Mandalorian palette, The Child. Mandalorian The Child. This is with this little guy. So this is kind of green palette but not like only green so the palette looks like this if you didn't know and it is some shimmers but it's no pressed glitters thankfully <laughs> I don't like that so I'm going to do a look with this one today and I don't know if I want to use that much green I'm not sure. I think I will try to take just like a Tatooine, this one, and Droid Protocol in my crease and on the outer corner of my lid. And then going with the Force and maybe Precious, precious Cargo on my lid. I'm not super decided on that one yet, but I think that I will just prime my eyes and then we get Started. So I will go in with, yeah, just like a Tatooine and Droid Protocol in my crease, maybe. And this palette, I don't know if it was limited edition or not, but now they are, I bought this kind of late, but now they are releasing Mandalorian 2 and some other like um, things to that collection so i think they're releasing <sighs> what's it like some super shock or some shimmer glitter things i don't know i did buy this palette kind of late i <clears throat> i've seen star wars like the original six films and uh, I it's not my favorites but I don't think they are bad and um, but I haven't seen more than that because sci-fi is not my thing sci-fi or like fantasy is not my thing at all I haven't seen It's not a lot of bigger movies like that that I've seen. Like Lord of the Rings. I have seen the first one when it came out on VHS. Is it called that in English as well? It should be. And like the short version that I have seen and I haven't seen anymore because I think they are shit. <laughs> and I haven't seen Harry Potter either and now I need to change my battery. It's going great for me. I really feel like how great it's going so I'm going to try to find my other battery. And buying two batteries is like the best thing I have ever done. Um, okay, where was I? Yeah, like with Harry Potter I haven't seen any of the movies. I have read the first book. I thought it was so bad. And I am like in the right age of Harry Potter. I was a kid when they came out and I have a lot of friends that really, really, really love Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings and Star Wars. But I'm not just one of them. So when this palette came, I didn't buy it because it was Star Wars and Mandalorian. I bought it because I like the color, sorry. So when they're releasing like a new, a new palette, I don't, was it called Mandalorian 2 palette? I don't know. 
I was like, couldn't care less. Okay, I'm actually going to take Float Your Crib, this one, and deepen, it, deepen down my crease with that one. And I don't know where I wanted to go with that, maybe just to say that it's okay to not like the bigger movies and like Avengers and stuff like that. I haven't seen any of these. I like Batman with the uh, yeah, Batman Returns and Dark Knight Rising and uh, yeah, I do like Batman. He's my favorite superhero. But other than that, eh, no. But I have actually been thinking, because this year I have seen all the classical Disney movies. So I have a Disney Plus. So I have actually like started to think, should I maybe watch Avengers and maybe Star Wars as well? And maybe Marvel movies, but I don't know. I I just don't think it's my thing. And I don't know if you like Star Wars and The Mandalorian and whatnot. If you think that this palette is like a good color story because I don't really know <laughs> if it is a good representation of the movie or not. I don't know the slightest. Okay, do you know what? I don't really know. Should I maybe cut my crease or should I see if I'm going to be able to not cut my crease or do I want to do a cut crease? I don't know. I think it's so hard with like Colourpop's shadows to know how pigmented they are going to be and like the shimmers, some shimmers are so freaking good and some shimmers are not and some you really do need to take a little primer and some you don't i don't know but i will start i will at least start with this one droid protocol and take it out part of my lid it's cat there in this and like with sci-fi movies and yeah, fantasy and whatnot we watched dune yeah, i don't know when this is coming up but now when i'm filming it's wednesday and we watched it on friday last week and it was so bad i don't know maybe i already talked about this because I did do like an insta vlog this, the day after and the same day and uh, I can't remember if I they talk about in a video on youtube as well I don't know but I did not like dune and I was like okay it's because I don't like movies like that but my boyfriend he didn't like it either and I don't know. <laughs> I thought like in the end, I was like, okay, now stuff's, now stuff is going to start to happen, and then the movie was over, and I was like, oh, I have spent two and a half hours on nothing. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Okay, maybe I should swatch the two colors that I want to take. Okay, they feel really, really creamy. So I want to take this one that is the fourth and then take Precious Cargo. Maybe I do not need to cut my crease. Maybe if I just find better brushes. So let's start. And I will not cut my crease, we will see. They felt really creamy. Maybe, okay. No, do you know what? I think it would work without, but I will actually. I want to cut the crease because I want this to be really intense. 
and I want to try to have like a sharp line for the green one in my crease so I would just take some NYX glitter primer and a smaller brush and then I'm going to be very concentrated in here okay so I'm first going in with the shimmer one yeah the shimmer ones the shimmer one I'm using two shimmers so I'm first going in with the force the gold ish as you can see It's like it's getting a little bit flaky even though I did cut my grease. Now some dogs are fighting outside I think. Now I'm going in with a lighter shimmer. Hello brush. Did you even pick anything up? Put it in here. Okay, even though I did cut, it felt like I might took a little bit of a too flimsy brush because I still have some shimmer specks up in my crease. I don't mind though because I still think it's a good edge to the crease shade, so yeah. I'm just going in with the darker shimmer and get hair! And then I'm going in with the dark matte shade I had out here. Okay. I actually do think I like this eye. <laughs> I hope that you can see something. I think it will look better than when I have like my lower lash and my base makeup and everything. But I do like this. And I do really think that this matte shade is a really nice matte dark shade. So I will cut the crease on this side as well, do my base. And um, yeah, I come back with the finished look. And I know it's strange to do like a review on a palette that you use for the first time. But at the same time, I have so many Colourpop palettes. And it feels like you know like a little bit how the palettes are. And uh, yeah, I will just do the other eye, my base, and then I'll come back. I had so much problems with choosing like a lipstick, but in my watch line I took Wildcat from Colourpop and on my lips I ended up taking a lip pen from Isadora, Cafe Creme, and then I took a lip gloss from Lunar Beauty in Aura. And... <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know, but I, I like didn't know. I tried on some new lipsticks, but today I'm, I'm not feeling for lipstick. I don't know what's going on with me. But yeah, where have I put the This is my this is my finished look with a Mandalorian the Child palette, and uh, yeah, I do like this look. I use this precious cargo and force as the shimmers on my lids in my crease I took just like a Tatooine and float your crib and on my out part of my lid I took droid pro pro protocol droid protocol so yeah I've I like the look but I don't think it's like super unique I mostly bought this palette because I do like the color story and people seem to really like this one. I don't think it is a bad palette, but I don't think it's like super amazing and super great. Maybe if you love Star Wars and Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. But I guess this isn't Yoda. This is just another, I don't know. So maybe I could pop the picture up here on the like new bigger collection because I think when this came out it was only this palette if I'm not mistaken. But now they have one more palette that I think it's a little bit too similar to this one to be like a whole new one. And then it seems like a mirror 
lip oils used it in the galaxy makeup bag as well yeah I don't know but I do like the look and uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with palette so yeah I guess that was all for this first impression I'm feeling a little bit unfocused and maybe uninspired today but I am wanting to go from like my unused palettes that I want to keep and this was one of the palettes and I didn't want to do something super green because it feels like it has been a lot of green the latest and yeah this is what it turned out to be I do like it and I think the lip lip color goes good together with it but I, I don't know what's happening with me like a super matte liquid lipstick doesn't feel like anything I want right now I don't know but yeah I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one bye